I'm running out of money. I'm stressed because I don't know if I have enough to live on when I retire. Have you ever had those thoughts? Do you have a lot of desires and wants with your resources and you can't seem to accomplish it? Stay tuned for a great strategy to accomplish your goals, your retirements, and have a safety net. Let's get started. Today we're talking about how do we grow our resources? How do we look ahead to the future and set ourselves up for victories? We've already gotten out of debt, and now Terry, is there a strategy for how I'm supposed to take the excess or the discretionary that I have and be wise about it? Absolutely. In fact, we would say that there's a three-part plan for, for those of us that have climbed out of debt. There's a three-part plan with making sure that we have success. First and foremost, we need to have an emergency fund. If you follow Dave Ramsey from time to time, he always talks about $1,000 emergency fund. And we encourage that. And we want to make sure the rainy day always happens. It's, I, I think the rainy day has always won. It's beaten everybody. And so we want to make sure that we put that thousand dollars away to make sure we cover for emergencies. Once we do that, then I want to encourage you to a secondary step. And that is to focus on your retirement. Well, Terry, I'm, I'm in my 20s. Do I have to focus? Yes. And let me tell you a reason why. Is did you understand, do you know that when we plan for retirement, we're looking at a 4% return on our investments to live on when we retire. That's a 4% return. Now, here's the problem. The problem is, is with inflation and with other things that happen, we need to make sure that we constantly recheck our plan. So many of us start in our 20s and we put away in a 401k and we forget about it and we never increase it. But we have to make sure that we're constantly revisiting it to make sure that we stay on track, especially in our 20s and 30s. Because if we can do it back here, then it sets us up for great success later. It's really difficult to catch up. Did you also know this? Many of us think, well, I have Social Security. I should be fine. Did you know that Social Security only covers about 40% of your earned income? And so when you get to Social Security, it's not the be-all, end-all. You have to supplement for the future. Now, some of us say, well, Terry, that's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work until I die. That's not a really good strategy. Let me tell you why. Did you know that 25% of individuals in their 20s will become disabled by the time of retirement? You don't have the luxury of thinking you can work until you die. Did you also know this? That 70% of individuals after the age of retirement end up needing long-term care. Now, I'm not here to, to scare you, and I'm not here to, to, to make you a little bit you know, trepidatious today, but I am trying to inject reality into all of us. We need to first get an emergency fund. We need to second, we need to focus on setting up our retirement, and you could do that with a, uh, a financial planner, and I encourage you to meet with one today to begin that process. Last but not least, what do we do with our savings? Save for goals. Save for things like college. Save for things like a car. Those things you can absolutely then put in for and to begin saving for, and they can be saved for quickly. But there is an order, emergency fund, retirement, and then goals. Dave Ramsey once said, live like no one else so that one day you can live like no one else. And if you follow this strategy, if you follow the strategy of making sure that you give 10% of your income to God, 15% to retirement and savings, and then the rest for us to spend, you will put yourself on a path for financial freedom. God bless you.